Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're starting out on the run. Actually, we've done chores, we've done house chores, we've done school, we've done a little bit of school. We're headed to the barn. Our lesson with Brandon got a little bit postponed because he had a vet thing happening today. Anyway, we're headed to the barn. But before we go, the girls have gone down to feed the horses lunch. But before we go, I just wanted to tell you guys something really quick. Yesterday when the chiropractor was here to take care of Sky, she asked me about Stella and it was really hard for me to talk about. She knew that she was she had passed away. I sent her a message soon after Stella passed away because I was worried she was going to come and ask me about her and I knew I wouldn't be able to talk about her. But she doesn't know what happened and she doesn't I wasn't I'm not able to talk about it yet with her. I'm not able to talk about it without crying. We started talking about how we got Sky and I told her about how I never felt like I felt like Sky didn't have anybody to love her. So as I told her that I didn't feel like Sky had anybody to love her, it led to the topic of there was a time when Stella had nobody to love her. She was headed for the meat market and we took a chance on her and we brought her home. And there was a time when everybody thought that we should get rid of Stella. So many people, there was such a huge debate on whether we should get rid of Stella. People didn't think she was worthy or didn't think we were worthy to have her and nobody wanted Stella. Stella was like the most unworthy horse out there. And yet, when she died, everybody came. Everybody came. And I was telling her the story about how, like, it just it just happened. I just started telling her when she died, everybody who took care of her and everybody that loved her was here with her. And it was, like, the most beautiful thing. And it's one of the things that, like, really got me through the whole situation. But she was crying and I was crying. And that's all I said. It was, like, a three-minute, like, a two-minute conversation. And it made me realize today, I was thinking about it again, and it made me realize that there are so many unwanted people out there. People who feel that nobody loves them. People who think that nobody cares about them. People who think they're not worthy. And there are so many Stellas out there. And I want no more days to go by without you guys knowing that every single person is valuable all life matters every single life every single life it doesn't matter what you tell yourself every day or how other people make you feel you matter your life is valuable god has you here for a reason there's a purpose for you that only you can do on this earth and i know that that doesn't connect with some people and i don't know how to say it in a different way but every person is like stella every single person Everybody just needs a little bit of love and the most important love of all is the love that you have for yourself You need to start with you You need to realize how amazing you actually are and then other people will start to, to realize it too I didn't want to start this vlog without saying every life has value be your best be your own cheerleader when nobody else is there for you be your own best supporter when nobody else supports you just look just know that I have faith in you and that I know you're amazing. Right, so on the agenda for today's lesson is Sour Keys. Thumbs up this video if you love Sour Keys. Gabby, I see you got a chocolate bar. I want a chocolate bar. You should have got yours. It's true, I bought the chocolate bars for Gabby because you guys saw when she rides Finn, she needs the energy. But also, um, you guys should know, like I feel like I never have enough time to tell you all the things, but um, the chiropractor said that Chino, who's probably never seen a chiropractor in his entire life, was very out. He was out in his withers, he was out in his poles, he was out in his ribs. The guy was out in his ribs. He was out everywhere. And so she suggested that we not ride him for a couple of days to let him really like the treatment that she gave him really sink in. And he'll only get better and better with every treatment. And he'll be like our other horses that we ride. He'll get treated every single month just to keep him in top form. But anyway, so she can't ride Chino today. She's supposed to have a lesson on Chino today and Finn, but today she's just going to ride Finny boy, right? Right. Let's do it. Me. I can ride Storm. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. Look at this, you guys. One pregnant, two pregnant mares. One is sleeping and the other one is standing guard. Isn't that beautiful? They're like, you're interrupting my nap. <laughs> Isn't she cute? It might be going down. <laughs> They're so cute. Finn's and we're gonna roll. Today is such a weird day. I feel like our camera is acting crazy. Today, today is such a weird okay. day. Can I 
show you guys? Sure, what my show us. Do very badly. Sure, show us what your parents do very badly. Fiona even agrees with me. Okay, what is it? So they clip this up like this, so it's hard to unclip it. So how else would you do it? Yeah, you have to clip it like this, so that when you unclip it, it's like that. Okay. It's not like wait, 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 wait. Fiona agrees with me. It's easier. It's not as hard. It's like my kids have three parents, you guys. They compare us to Fiona. They compare us to Fiona. No, I told Fiona, like, I hate when my parents do Yeah, she do told this. Fiona, I hate when my parents do this. And Fiona, <laughs> Fiona, any good self-respecting woman would only agree with the parents. Look, this uh, horse is trying to eat my gloves. He's like, I know you got candy somewhere. Give it to me. I have sour candy, but you can't have candy before you ride because you can get crazy. So. I wanted to tell you guys that. He was good for bareback yesterday. Yeah, he was good for bareback. So basically, when you, know you take what we your, need to do? What do we need to do? Grab elastics and grab. Let's get some scissors and trim his. No, we have to pull it. No, tr his bridle path. Did you cut it yesterday? No, I cut it a while ago. Oh. It's growing back, but I cut Somebody it. has a bad, oh, it's Gracie. It's Storm. Gracie's needs to be cut. Storm's up to here. Oh my gosh, let's cut, yeah. let's cut Storm's too. So anyway, clean. what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted is that when the chiropractor comes, you have to give your horse that day off so that it doesn't kind of undo all the things, like just so everything can kind of settle. Yes. And our horses are used to getting it done. A lot of people don't believe in getting chiropractic treatment for their horses, but because we ride them and use their back, we always get it done every month it's as a maintenance, not because it's necessary, but because it's for maintenance. And so Finn thinks it's like the best thing on earth. He hangs his head down and just lays there while she works on him. Storm enjoys it, not as much as Finn. But Chino, who's probably never had it done before, she came in and he was like, oh, you want to fight me? Because he did not even have a clue what she was doing. And within five minutes, he was like, a limp noodle just laying there like, don't stop, don't stop. He really enjoyed it. Yeah, so, in the background too. so our horses will have like little things that are out. Like Finn, will, he was, I forget what she said. She told me so many horses. Um, Finn was out a little in his one shoulder. He was... Out, like just a little bit because we maintain it. But Chino was out everywhere. His rib, he had like ribs were hang like were out. He had his um, oh. his neck was really out. Fiona thinks that once he gets his withers, um, yeah, his withers were out. His head was out. Like everything was out on Chino. Fiona thinks that once he gets fixed, he won't like have a crooked. He won't be crooked like he's been crooked. And um, another thing is that. How amazing though, that some horses, when they're out of, a, of alignment and they're in pain, they like act up or get crazy in, in being ridden. And he just was such a nice, easygoing pony, even though he was not in physically feeling awesome. She also told me that Storm's body really enjoys what he's doing now. So he was out less than he ever gets out. And he, she thinks that he's just, confirmation wise, he's meant to do less than what Gabby wanted. We're trimming the bridle path. This is how we trim bridle paths. Well, I do it. The horses don't like. Yeah, don't, okay. Did you guys see Gabby's TikTok? It turned out so, so cute. There was a time when I I'd be, the ground, so there'd I'd be, there'd be, there was a time I'd be freaking out when she cut somebody's, oh, it's still long. No, I cut it up to here. Oh. That way it's not there. Yeah. That thing, oh, that's just mud. I was like, what? That was just my He still has long hair. Long tail. He's got a pretty tail. You got a pretty tail. Yes, you do. Anyway, anyway, the chiropractor said we should let Chino rest for two days. So he's getting two days off um, so that he can be adjusted and be feeling good before we start working with him again. It's literally so cold out again. It's like spring, winter, spring, winter. I'm surprised not everybody's sick. Anyway, I wanted to come out and see if Chino will come to me for a treat. Look at him. King of the castle. All these busy people hurrying along. If they're not on the phone, they're all worried something's wrong. Making it important to be the first in line. So when the cookie crumbles, the best piece they will find.
Look, he's been laying down. <laughs> you got hay all in your hair. Probably never felt so good in his whole life. You know, normally you have to earn that. Have you ever felt like when you get a new horse, it's like when you get a new car and it's like, oh, this is such a good car. And then after a week, you start seeing all the problems with the car. It's like with Chino, I'm starting to feel like seeing problems. Like I'm already getting little warning signs of things that are gonna pop up in the future. Like I know he's gonna want shoes for show season. He's just that kind of a horse, right? Yeah. No matter how much vet checking you do, there's still so many things that are unknown when you buy a horse. Even though you're a nice one. Mm -hmm. Don't even start with that. No. <laughs> He's such a love. Isn't he cute though? With his hair all pretty now. I like his hair, even though we got a lot of flack from that in real life, cutting that hair. You're such a cute boy. I really love you. Yes. You know, every time you spend time with your horse and feel like you love your horse, that's when your horse feels like they love you too. Listen, run me over. I'll stand on your pile. See, this is his hay pile. All right. Come here. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you are such a good boy. Don't you even try that business. Yes. Okay, one last one. Okay? And then I'm done. One fell on the ground. Ugh. Hold on. Good boy. All right. Now I'm done bonding with Gabby's horse. Uh-oh, this is going to get dicey. Listen, don't follow me. Oh gosh. Listen, we are not friends now. Get. No. I missed that. Gabby and Finn just did a big huge hop and a jump over there. What was that about? What was that about? She's ignoring me because she's riding. She's going sideways. This is not good. Is your saddle on crooked? Because he's sideways. He just doesn't want to go slow. Well, no wonder. He just got adjusted. He'd be feeling happy. He'd be feeling good. He just wants to fly. It's already too hot. I wish I could get up there. I'm freezing cold. Throw it. <laughs> See, he's going crooked. That's not like him. Do not poop. Do not do it. We're waiting for Brandon. He is talking to people. So this is going well. He's chomping at the bit. He's like, let's do it. Come on. I know, because he feels good. He's got energy again because he's all adjusted. This is what I feel like is going to happen with Chino. The next time we ride him, I think he's going to be a whole heck of a lot of a different horse. See, they're going crooked. That's not normal. Why you got his head bent? Well, it's going to be a fun lesson, people. So the rule is, if somebody almost runs you over, you're allowed to push them off their horse. Get ready for it. Thank you. She's counting down the rules. Uh oh. I'm. I'm. Don't come too close. 
It's not going that good. He's like adjusted and super fresh. He, he looks, bucked her. He looks crazy. He bucked her. Well, he got adjusted yesterday. Oh, are you guys allowed to ride them today? No. Yeah, just not the day that they're adjusted. You sure? Yeah. 110%? Yeah. You're not supposed to ride them the next day. Mm. Are you allowed to ride them today? Huh? Are you allowed to ride them today? Pardon? Yeah. Are you allowed to ride today? Jeez. What's the chiropractor say? She said that not to ride Chino for two days because yesterday and today because he was really out everywhere but we always ride the day after we're always been we've always been allowed to ride the day after oh, it's just the day been banished. who's your chiropractor maybe she shouldn't ride i mean he's you might just have to ride not left him on him i think we should just put him back in the field because this is just <laughs> a, a fight like i've never seen him this crazy in a long time he's been really good Hey Gabby, do I just get off and just let him run? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, just hop off and... Yeah, but after you let him run. Right? Okay. Oh we'll my ride God. him and then if he still has a ton of energy. I haven't seen Finn like this in a long time. He's literally so crazy. Gabby can't ride him. Like, we're just like, get off of him and let him run. And she's like, no, he has to learn. And she, they're, yeah, they're having a disagreement. But anyway, it, it, it's not going to be a lesson. Because, no, because you can't ride him like that. We gave you a choice. Get down and let him run. Storm can't ride either. Brennan says you're supposed to wait two days. Like, you're not supposed to ride the day after. Okay, so we are home. The camera's making my face look really red, and it's not. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm a farm girl. I pull straw out of my headband. But anyway, we are home, and I just wanted to tell you guys that we had a really bad day. Like... A really bad day and I'm gonna tell you what happened so that I can share with you guys what I do when I have a bad day and I act like an idiot because that's what I did today I acted like an idiot so basically what happened is that we had a lesson and it was for noon because um, Brandon had some other stuff going on and we arrived our horses got the chiropractor yesterday and what our chiropractor tells us for horses that have been adjusted regularly like our horses get done every four weeks um and that they should manage like they should have that day off and then they are fine to ride the next day so that's what we've always done and his chiropractor tells her him that they should have the day off after the adjustment so the day of the adjustment and the day after and our chiropractor does that for two for horses like chino that had uh, harder adjustments. So basically, um, we went there and and we went there and Finn was crazy, like to the point where if Gabby was going to continue to ride him, somebody was going to die. It was going to either be me, who she almost kept running over, or her, or Finn. Like somebody was going to die. So, um, so that's not the beginning of the story, though. The story happened was when we got there, um, there was a lady there. Brandon was showing her a horse. She came to buy a horse. And um, she's a perfectly fine, nice person, very friendly. And she's. I feel bad sharing this story. Like, people are going to say, don't tell stories about people. Yeah, that's terrible. She's probably never going to see this video. I don't think she knows us. She didn't seem to know us. She's not probably not going to see the video. I'm not going to name any names, but this is relevant to my story. So the lady got there and she saw Brandon warming up a bit and she said, wow, I'm really glad that you're warming up the bit because most people don't. And I said, well, that's crazy. Like we always warm up our bits in Canada because it's really cold here. So we'd be putting like a big, huge frozen metal piece in a horse's mouth. It's just not kind. So um, she said that, you know, where sh she lives, there's a lot of people that are uneducated and really love horses and want to take care of them but they're uneducated and so they just do dumb things like that they don't understand like all the proper things to do and and then she went on to tell a story about how 
when she went to for her exams for equine instruction that the instructor was drilling her like a drill sergeant she was getting really upset with him and saying like he was just was asking not asking anybody else any questions just drilling her questions and then she got really upset and she was like why are you on me and he said you're just so smart like I just I'm so shocked at how much you know and and people from your area usually are really close-minded and and don't don't know very much and and so he was just really surprised at how much she knew and then I literally felt so frustrated I felt like I felt like uh, I felt like that's the opposite of how I feel I wanted to say you know where I where I live I said I wanted to tell her that there are a lot of uneducated people that really love animals that are smarter than people who are educated and close-minded because uh, the gamut is so big, you guys. Like, there are people... I don't know. I just... I don't believe in lumping people together. And I don't believe in saying that education trumps common sense. I, I don't know. But anyway, that was her experience. But anyway, so I was put off a little. I was getting stressed out. Um, she stayed there for, like, the longest time. So we had a lesson, but we couldn't do the lesson because she was... Decided to buy the horse, wanted to do the vet check, blah, blah, blah. And she didn't, to be fair, she didn't know we were supposed to have a lesson. So it just was a messed up lesson. That's okay. But then Gabby couldn't have a lesson because her horse was crazy. And Brandon didn't want her to ride because he wanted them to have two days off. So then Gabby was really upset. And then... Okay, so at this point, I'm still thinking, like, today's going to be okay. Like, I still was not very, very frustrated. And then Gabby was, like, just crying. And she, she just she just had a bad day. She was expecting to have a lesson. She couldn't have a lesson. She said, like, how about I have a lesson in Storm? But we couldn't have a lesson in Storm. And she was frustrated. I felt a little bad for her. She decided to walk... Finn out. Finn was like heaving like a crazy man because he was like a crazy man. And so she took off the saddle and she took off the martingale and so she undid the bit and she just left like the bridle undone. And I said to her, and she was going to take it and put it away and come back to cool him out on foot. And I said to her, Gabby, are you bringing back the halter? And she said, yes, but it took her a few minutes. And then the, the lady brought the horse back into the arena and then they were lunging the horse. So I'm standing there trying to hold Finn and the horse is going around and around and they're like this far apart and Finn is getting like really upset. I had like these big, huge gloves on. I do not know how to do up that bit thing. I was overwhelmed because Finn was freaking out and I'm still dealing with this woman that drove me crazy in the beginning. So then I did what I do, which is doesn't happen very often. Like it's probably been years since I lost it. I lost my mind, you guys. I started screaming, Gabby, get in here with the halter. And then the people stopped lunging the horse because you know, it was crazy. I was a crazy person and Gabby came in and then I was fuming and I was stomping around and I was just an idiot. And then I felt bad and we left. And I felt bad after because <sighs> Sometimes things just get to you and you try your hardest not to act like an idiot, but you do. And I just wanted to tell you that I acted like an idiot. My kid did not get a lesson and I was frustrated. I acted like an idiot in front of people from out of town that came to buy a horse. I made the barn look bad because I literally was like huffing and walking my horse around and Brendan's like, Laura, it's okay. Just calm down. And I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> you know, it's not fun. So anyways, that did happen. So now that I have common sense and I have calmed down and I realize like I just overreacted. It was just a bunch of things, small things that built up and make you react sometimes. And so now that I know that I shouldn't have acted like that and I've calmed down, I'm going to send him a message and apologize and beg him to not give up on us. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that that's where this vlog is going to end. It just was a sucky day for us. It's not the worst day of our lives because we've already had that. I hope we've already had that. It was just a bad day. And I don't know how that happens. Like sometimes you just wake up in the morning and you just get going. Like I never expect it to happen. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, wow, that was a really crappy day. But yeah, and it might not seem like much, but you know the feeling. You know the feeling where you just feel put out by somebody else. And the other person probably just isn't even thinking, isn't even... I don't know. It just was a bad day. 
and everybody has them and when you do the biggest thing is you got to realize you just had a bad day forgive yourself your actions apologize to the people you need to and move on and that's what I'm gonna do today and I want you guys to know that no matter what you do forgive yourself first say you're sorry and move on because that is all that has to happen you don't need to to wear it inside yourself for you don't need to keep it inside yourself for weeks and days and months and feel bad you just need to forgive yourself acknowledge your mistakes forgive yourself apologize and move on and that's what we're gonna do we'll see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.